everybody, last night I posted this DAX pop quiz, and the focal point of this was about why remove filters wasn't removing the context on the dates, month, name field. And the answer was that there was a second sort field that was sorting that dates, month, name, and that you needed to remove the context on that field as well. So the remove filters, month, name, and month of year. And what I indicated was there was kind of a tip off in this that the month name field was sorted properly. It wasn't sorted alphabetically. It was sorted in chronological order. And that was a clue that, that you needed to look to a second, a second field. But there was an astute um, viewer of this, a guy named Dennis Priester. And he, what he suggested was that I do tonight's video and show another way you could reveal potentially why that, um, that visual is not behaving the way you expect it to. And it's, it's a place you might not think to look initially, which is the performance analyzer. And so if we open performance analyzer, if we hit start recording, and then we say refresh visuals, and then it runs through and it'll, it'll, it'll run all those visuals and measure the, the time. What we can do is go to this table correct, which is the, 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 the table right here. And what we can do is say copy query. And if we go to say, um, notepad, what we can do is we can paste the results of that query into notepad and see what power BI is using to create that table. And if we look at this, let's pop this open. If we look at this, this is the query that DAX is using. And if we go here to the order by statement, what we'll see is for the grand total row, it's sorting by month of year and date month's name. And so if, if we were having problems with that, the removing the context on month's name, this would be a real tip off that month of year is something that we need to look at as well, since that is part of the the filter context in this in this query. So it's a really good tip. I'm glad Dennis brought it because it's it's something that, as I say, is a really good way to see kind of what's going on behind the scenes and not just not just for purposes of optimizing your your visuals, although it is good for that, but also to see the um the DAX behind the scenes and how that may or may not be behaving in terms of what you expect. So I hope you found that helpful. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.